Now the second problem. So given formula is this one. Okay. For this given formula, we have to find out the equivalent DNF. Okay. So now P conditional. Okay. Now, so here P conditional Q is there. So we are already know that the well-known formula P conditional Q is logically equivalent to so negation P R Q. Okay. Next one. So I am using P conditional Q in the place of P conditional Q. I am writing negation P R Q. So negation P R Q and so negation of negation Q or negation P. Okay. I am writing negation uh, in this way. There is no problem at all. Both are same. Okay. So after writing P conditional Q is replaced with the negation P or Q. This is the step we are getting. Okay. So next step is here this negation can be applied to inner side of the parenthesis. Okay. So P conditional. Okay. Negation P or Q. And negation of negation Q. We are already know that negation of negation Q. Okay. And negation of R is and. Next negation of negation P. Negation of negation P. Okay, so this is we are getting. We are already know that so negation of negation Q is logically equivalent to Q by using double negation law and negation of negation P is logically equivalent to P by using double negation law. Okay, so now these can be uh, these can be inserted in this place. Okay. So P conditional, so negation P or Q, okay, and negation of negation Q is nothing but Q, and negation of negation P is nothing but P, okay. So after applying these two formulas, the above step can be converted into equivalent this formula, okay. Next one. P conditional, okay. So negation P R Q and Q and P, okay. So with the negation P, we are multiplying this entire component by using and connective. So negation P and Q and P, okay. This is the first component. In between them, R is there. Next, Q is multiplied with the entire component. Q and Q and P. Okay. Here, negation P is multiplied with this entire component. Negation P and Q and P. Or, Q is multiplied with entire component. Q and Q and P. Okay. So, we are already know that. So, these two formulas. So, negation P and P is logically equivalent to false. Next, Q and Q is logically equivalent to Q. So, we are using these two formulas in this step. Okay. So, here I am writing P conditional. Okay. So, here negation P and P and Q are here Q and Q and P. Okay. Here negation P and P is nothing but false. So P conditional. So this is a false and Q. Negation P and P is nothing but false. Okay. F false and Q are. So this is Q and Q is nothing but Q and P. Okay. Next one. So we know that uh, F and Q, false and Q, false and Q is nothing but false. 
how can you say that so here false and q okay in the place of q we are substituting true value okay true and false is nothing but false in the place of q we are substituting false value false and false that is nothing but false in the place of q true we are using true and false that is nothing but so false in the place of q false we are using false and q that is nothing but false so both are getting the false so f and q is nothing but is logically equivalent to false okay now so here we are getting false false are q and p false are q and p sorry false are q and p okay now in the place of q and p okay we are substituting true value false are true is nothing but true in the place of q and p we are substituting false value false are false is nothing but false so whatever the true value we are substituting in the place of q and p the same truth value we are getting okay here we are substituting true we are getting true value here we are substituting false we are getting uh, we are getting false value okay whatever the truth value we are substituting in the place of q and p that is the result we are getting so that it can be written as p conditional q and p okay now it is logically equivalent to p conditional can be written as negation p or q and p okay so negation p or q and p okay so this is the result we are getting okay so here this is one elementary product this is also one elementary product negation p is also elementary product okay so it can be simply we can write it as negation p and negation p negation p and negation p is also negation p okay so now this is one elementary product this is one elementary product these two elementary products are connected by using r connective r connective can be treated as a sum in the case of normal form so that is a sum of elementary products so for the given formula this is the equivalent dnf okay either this one is correct or this one is also correct so somebody uh, somebody have doubt negation p is a elementary product or not yes negation p is also a elementary product so negation p is nothing but negation p and negation p we have to write so negation p and negation p is nothing but negation p so this is one elementary product this is one elementary product both elementary products are combined by using r connective that is the sum sum of elementary product so therefore this is the required dnf this is the required dnf okay so in this way we have to solve the example problems so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so divela srinivas rao divela srinivas rao thank you in the next video we have to solve some more example problems